Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're coming across an error or location is not available on your Windows computer. So it should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to first start by right-clicking on a blank area of our taskbar. And then select Task Manager. Select the File tab up in the top left and then left click on run new task in the open field you want to type in explorer.exe exactly as it appears on my screen check mark the box to create this task with administrator privileges and then left click on OK so hopefully that's been able to resolve your problem so once you're done with that if you close out of here now you want to open up File Explorer if it's not already open, so we're just going to go ahead and close out of here. Open up the Start menu, type in File Explorer. This message should come back with File Explorer. Go ahead and left click on that. Now you want to go left click on this PC on the left side. Go underneath your local disk where Windows is installed on, so go ahead and double click on that. Double click on the Users folder. And now double click on the default folder. If you don't see a default folder, you want to left click on the View tab up at the top and check mark inside the box here to view hidden items. So right here, make sure that's check marked in there and then you should see a default folder appear. Go ahead right now and double click on that. Should be a desktop folder. So you want to right click on that and then left click on Copy. Now that you've done that, you want to go click the back arrow here. So just go back to our local disk and now you want to double click on the Windows folder and now locate system 32 double click on that now find the config folder double click so I continue to gain access to this folder and there should be a system profile folder in here as well double click on that so I continue again so you want to right click inside of a blank area in here and then select paste and there you go guys pretty straightforward so then close out of here restart your computer and that should be about it so as always thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial i do hope i was able to help you out and i do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial goodbye